What is going on, Lunatics? Just like that, boom, goes the dynamite. You just saw Luna Classic take off. We're up 14% on the day, and you might be asking yourself exactly what's going on. I'm going to explain it. I'm going to break it down for you so that you know and have a better idea of what is happening right now. Before we get into it, though, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. Let's kick it off. We're going to start off with some of the news information. All right, piece number one is May 24. Starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Judge Jed Rakoff, the Jed, the, you know who he is. Judge Jed Rakoff will be listening to uh, the arguments about why Terraform Labs should or should not be ordered to pay a $5 billion fine to the United States government, who, in my opinion, is just trying to price gouge uh, Terraform Labs. And we'll have some clarity and some closure in this. So we're looking forward to that move. Also, an analyst spots a Terra Classic bullish pattern and is predicting an 1100% price surge. Crypto analyst Javon Marks shared his X analysis outlining a bullish pattern that could lead Lunk to surpass its current price by over 1000%. That's a 10x for those of you that don't know. And by the way, if you remember, that was my prediction that was going to come true by the end of this year. Uh, I was looking for that to happen. However, uh, you know, a lot of this is, by the way, my number right now is just a 2x, but the longer term is 10x. So uh, I, I do think that we're looking at uh, a potential breakout happening right now. Let's take a look at the chart and you can see uh, we did break out. Remember, I told you there would be some resistance right here at 11,653. And what happened? You got this big move up here. You got a robust move. Then you got a wick that came back down uh, as it uh, was rejected. Then after the rejection, it got... Uh, pulled in at about 11.5 and then surged up above. Now, for the last couple of hours, we've been surging above this resistance point. And as I zoom out, you will see uh, going out here that we are now into this little chop and range right now for the next piece of resistance. And the question is, how will we fare in that context? So the, the, the hopeful answer to that is, very, very well. Up 14.6%, by the way, from that entry point. If you haven't already, consider high IQ down in the description below. That's where these E's are. They're telling you when you should be buying and little bags right there. It's when you should be taking profit. So um, uh, we're fighting for the last couple of hours at this location. And we're going to see, of course, how that's going to play out. But also, by the way, USTC is having a pump as well. Let's take a quick look over here. And you can see the same thing kind of playing out as well. And I'm look, I'm not saying that it's following exactly what I said to the T, but it's following exactly what I said to the T, right? So uh, you would expect over here that as we kind of uh, frame out this region here, probably have a little bit of a withdrawal back down uh, and then another surge going ahead. So back to Luna Classic, uh, the next step in this, uh, I'm going to move out to the daily so that you can see it on the daily chart, get a better idea. Uh, it's still long term, by the way. Long term, still bearish. But as you can see, we, we kind of wicked into this resistance zone. Now uh, we have to push through this. If we push through this range, then you got another range coming up pretty close at about 15. So three zeros, 15. Now, uh, again, I do think that over the next couple of days, something like this might be how this is playing out. Remember, I tell you guys all the time that history rhymes. And what we saw was we saw this massive move. We saw this rejection, we saw the cons uh, the consolidation, then we saw this big move, then we saw this kind of in-range move, and then boom, we got another spike, and we saw this in-range move, and then boom, it really spiked hard. What we're, what we're seeing right now is we're consolidating in that range, and then we got this boom, big move, right? Now we're going to consolidate probably, in my opinion, just a little bit more, uh, testing this 11.6 as uh, support. If that rejects, uh, then we're going to come back down in here. We're going to try again. But if it doesn't and it holds, then you're going to see something like this right here. You're going to see this massive move coming up here, coming into this 23 range. And again, I keep telling you guys, that's the next impulse move. But I do feel like there's going to be a rejection. Now, uh, the question would be, if, am I exactly right on this? And I don't know, you know, if you, if you take the wick up here, it probably looks a little more like this. And then if I can be so bold as to kind of, Try to do it just right. It still comes into about 23, 24 as the next big impulse move, but it's coming and we're seeing it play out. Now, I told you guys yesterday that the optimal path here would be more consolidation into this range to prevent a dip coming back down into the lower time frames. 
And if we can do that, and then we can have the breakout on the announcement. But here's the thing. Ethereum ETF is getting ready to happen. So uh, you're going to see a big boom goes the dynamite move uh, starting to happen. Now, the next resistance, as I told you guys up here, 15, that's going to be the, the spot of potential rejection. Hopefully we get through that. If we get through that, then we got 18, roughly 18, uh, and then the breakout and then the move, the, the big move all the way up here. So uh, we'll see how this plays out over the next little while. Uh, as far as news goes, uh, staking mechanism for USTC seems to be in the cards, perhaps. Uh, if, you, if you're interested, go to Commonwealth, uh, join the discussion over there. Uh, Coin Hall, uh, if you look over here, uh, my bags are pumping. Uh, remember, this was like 300 bucks. Now it's 638, uh, continues to. But we've got uh, SCUST uh, is now, it's down a little bit for the day, but it's up 220x over the last couple of days. Uh, this one's up 168x. C Hall, C Luna is up 126x. Uh, Savior, brand new one, up 17x. Uh, so if, if you're interested, always go to coinhall.org, uh, turn it into Terra Classic and start looking around. You can see uh, what's going on. Tom and Jerry over here, up 15%. Lunk up uh, 12.56, 12.595 over here. Uh, Luna Classic, uh, Rakoff, uh, Rakoff's down 5% on the day. So Plenty going on, plenty to like about the, the the volume and the increasing surge. Now, what does that look like broadly? The volume is up to 106 million, big surge of about 9.6%. USTC, same thing, not nearly up uh, as much, but still percentage-wise up pretty good, 29 million, 168 million market cap. So uh, the question now comes, what is going on before we get into that? Station governance. Reactivate the Osmosis IBC. Hit the pass threshold. Who is the bad actor? Who would who would vote no? The only people that voted no. I cannot I cannot stress this enough. The only the only people that voted no with veto. Jesus is Lord. One and two. If you think that there is one person or one group of people trying to stifle innovation and trying to prevent the Luna Classic blockchain from expanding, there it is, right there. Jesus is Lord. Now let me show you. What this looks like, Jesus is Lord, the only validator who's voted no. Down here, boom. Now, when you look at everybody, everybody else, everybody else has voted yes. So this thing is going to pass, right? Um, but it will not be because of Jesus is Lord. Unstake and stake with somebody who supports you and supports this chain. There is no reason to have 4.43% of you guys validating with Jesus is Lord. If you like the word Jesus, make your own Jesus validator. If that's the point, if that's what you need to make you feel better, do it yourself. But stop validating with somebody who is working to destroy your blockchain. It doesn't make any sense. You should you should not be doing this. And I, you know, I don't mean to be an asshole about it. I, I really don't. But what else can I say? He's doing everything he can to stifle you. Pick somebody else. Uh, also, there are some very exciting plans coming for Cryptonomy VIP users. Make sure that you're signed up to the Cryptonomy Telegram. Follow the Twitter account for rewards and prizes. There's going to be extensive promo programs and giveaways for all Cryptonomy VIP users. Also, uh, I've introduced a unique opportunity for users to evaluate the platform's performance and share your personal experiences. So if you are looking to do that, your comments can be posted on cryptonomy.finance slash reviews. You guys know what I've been saying you know, I think XRP is about to have a moment. So we're going to make a deposit over here. Uh, we're going to do 10,000 XRP right now. We're going to stake that for, we got another 12 months. So we're going to put that in there, 120.7% APY. We're just going to stake this long-term. Scheduled amount is going to be 12,075 XRP on the way out. Uh, the yields continue. The launch pool, the TARS protocol did a 13X. Xverse, remember, did a 4X. Blade Swap did a 5X. Uh, these guys are finding really good projects, putting them out there for you. So make sure you sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Luna Classic burns 307 million over the last couple of days. Now, with the pickup in uh, volume, we might see a pickup in this as we get towards the end of the month. Also, Weeks has reached out to me about their burn is getting ready to start. So uh, be looking for that. Now, let's move on to the token of the day or the coin of the day or the project of the day. And that's going to be Terra Tritium. As you can see right here, this is one of the bigger projects in this frame. Uh, 3,354 followers right now uh, and the Terra Tritium official MMO launch. And look, there's you can come in here and you can play this game. Uh, and go, by the way, go learn about what you, you uh, learn about this game. Now, look, 
if, if you look right here, this is the game. We're going to play it real quick. Now, you remember, uh, if you if you do remember, uh, we started playing this uh, about a month ago. And you remember I, I built and I followed the steps and I built out my entire city, uh, my entire everything. And son of a bitch, somebody destroyed everything. And if you look over here, uh, you can see from this that they stole everything from me uh, over the last little while. So I have no resources. I have no, I have nothing over here. I had a population of 30 robots. So it's going to be time for me to kind of get to work over here, uh, trying to figure out what the next step is. Um, it, it, I have no idea. But uh, if you are looking, then you're going to come over here and you're going to start building. Now, I, I don't have the sufficient resources, so I'm going to have to figure out something uh, to try to come up with a method in which uh, I'm going to be able to continue building in this place. Should have continued building and not just left it here for the for this purpose right now, because now I've been robbed. My buildings have been destroyed and I am completely wiped out. I might even have to start all over again. I might have to like reset the game uh, and, and and continue on. Now, uh, I will connect my wallet uh, and, and, you know, I'll have to buy some more resources uh, to get this going. But guys, if you haven't already, check out Terratritium. If you like um, things like Vikings, War of Clans, if you like uh, Clash of Clans, if you like all of those different kinds of games, then that's what you're looking at right here. So, uh, but it's on this blockchain. So stop wasting time. Quit playing around. Go play Teratridium. This has not been financial advice. I'm always right. The pump, I think it's going to continue. It looks like we're in a good pit, a good place. Uh, there'll be some consolidation. Again, I showed you the map. I showed you the, the map. I showed you the chart. There's going to be some consolidation. After that consolidation, I think we're going to rip uh, to that next level. And I think we're going to look at another 100% increase coming very, very shortly. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.